Hello everyone! I am Anita from Zurich Tourism and as maybe some of you can recognize, I'm currently in Singapore because I've been doing a roadshow in the last few weeks in Southeast Asia. And what I did, I went to different countries and there I saw that there were some things that you can actually compare to Zurich. So let's start by going to Bangkok and see what I found out there. In Bangkok you have great public transportation like we have in Zurich. Here I am again. In Zurich we have great public transportation system. We start with the trains, we have trams, buses, funiculars and a very extensive public transportation system that you can use. We also have our own product that's called the Zurich card. This is a ticket that allows you to use all the different tra public transportation system in Zurich. You have free entrance to many museums, you have some discounts on shopping, on nightlife, some surprises in the restaurants, and also discounts on city tours and boat cruises are also included. Let's now go back to Bangkok and see what else I discovered. In Bangkok, you can find a lot of riverside restaurants and bars and take a river cruise. In Zurich, you can do that too. That's right, in Zurich we have river cruises but also a lot of boat cruises. So the boat that you see in the picture is the largest boat that we have on Lake, Lake Zurich called Pantare. And they also organize special dinner cruises, some parties like silent discos and it's really fun. In Bangkok you have a lot of tuk -tuk. In Zurich we have our own. We have e-tuk tuk electric tuk tuks for city tours around the city. Did you think that tuk tuks is only something that you can find in Asia? In fact, we have e tuk tuks in Zurich that can take you around the city for a cultural city tour. And all the while, you can also enjoy some culinary experience, such as a fondue or a barbecue on the e tuk tuk with some wine. So it's a really nice experience. Hello, I'm currently at the Raffles Hotel in Jakarta. Here in Jakarta, you have beautiful luxury hotels, and in Zurich, of course, we have some too. Two examples are the Dolder brand and the Borolak. Thank you, Anita from Jakarta. Anita from Singapore is here to tell you about the Borolak and the Dolder brand. Here are some images. The Borolak is one of the most luxurious hotels in Zurich. And as you can see, they also have a beautiful restaurant, the Pavillon, which is a two Michelin star restaurant in Zurich. The Dolder brand is also very beautiful. This hotel is located on a hill overlooking the city of Zurich. And they also have a restaurant with two Michelin stars. Next to the Dolder brand, there is also the Dolder ice rink. This is the largest ice rink in Switzerland, and during Christmas, they decorate it very nicely with a Christmas tree and Christmas lights. In Singapore, you have Tiger beer. In Zurich, we have Hürlimann. But it's not only beer, it's even better. If we talk about beer, in Zurich, we have the Hürlimann Areal. This is the old brewery. But nowadays, this is something even better. We created a thermal bath right inside the factory. And the thermal baths, you can swim inside barrels that were used for the beer production. And they also have a very beautiful rooftop on the, on the roof of the old building. Hi, it's me again. Here in Singapore, you have a lot of tall buildings. In Zurich, we have our own skyscraper. Well, yes, in Zurich, we also have our own skyscraper. It's of course not as tall as the buildings that you have in Asia. It's only 36 floors, it's called the Prime Tower. And the Prime Tower on this 36th floor, they offer a very beautiful restaurant called Clouds. We also have another popular tower, the Freitag Tower. Freitag is actually a bag brand that's made, that, that makes bags out of recycled materials. And you can find the flagship store in Zurich, right below the Prime Tower. And next to the Freitag Tower, you find this beautiful place called Frau Gerold's Garden. This is an urban garden where you can enjoy, for example, a Hürlimann beer or also some other drinks and spend some time with your friends there. Hello from beautiful Kuala Lumpur. Here in KL you have your beautiful Petronas Tower. Did you know that in Zurich we also have our Twin Towers? Well, we saw Anita in KL showing us the Petronas Tower, the Twin Towers of the city. In Zurich we also have our own Twin Towers. Do you recognize them? This is the Grossminster Church. It's one of the most popular churches in Zurich. So popular that it's also been featured multiple times on the Korean TV drama Crash Landing on You. Here we can see some images. So we have the two lead actors that are every episode, they are walking in front of the Grossminster Church from the square called Lindenhof. This is a beautiful location in the center of the old town where you can enjoy a beautiful view over the whole city. 
a secret tip. There are also many other locations of crash landing on you that were filmed in Zurich. So you just have to go there and discover. I hope that you had fun with this small run through Asia and Zurich and I really hope to see you soon either here or there. As you probably noticed, I was not able to go to all the countries in Southeast Asia yet. <laughs> I will actually go to the Philippines and Vietnam later on in October and I hope to meet many of you there. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!